what Rage Quitter is doing is holding back these sentries if, uh, you know, he's staying near these chokes, so if Smutna was to attack, Rage Quitter could throw down some force fields and uh, beat up this army pretty quickly. So Zergling's running around looking for any extra expansions, and so Smutna does go for the double expansion, just a little slower than I would have thought. Got some guys up on the high yield. He doesn't have the harvester advantage, which is something I would like to see. And that is a lot of ultras. Ten ultralists. So, oh, these roaches kind of poking their head in. Not a good idea. Going to lose a couple right there. And it looks like tunneling claws and chitinous plating uh, are coming out. As long as was that eight overlords? Uh, looks like uh, Spina is tired of being supply blocked. So, ground weapons level one coming out right now for Rage Quitter, and he is uh, not pushing out. Thought about it. So, Zerk, uh, the Carapace, and the Chitinous Plate are coming out, which is going to give these Ultras quite a bit more strength. Oh, Lord. Bad decision for him. And this is a pretty scary Protoss Ball here. This immortals do a lot of damage. And, oh, what a great surround for Smunda! A really tough spot for Rage Quitter, though, of course, does not being able to do much to the ultras. It's the surest they've ever been over here. However, oh, it doesn't look like Smunt is going to have nearly enough to stop this army. Rage Quitter able to blast through those. Wow, I really thought Rage Quitter was in a tough spot, but oh man, <laughs> Smunt is really in trouble right now. I think Rage Quitter is going to come in here and take out these gold expansion pretty much on the All the dust and absolutely. And this is a really, really tough spot. I don't think he's going to be able to hold this off. So, it looks like Smana is going for a quick counter. Maybe going to try to pull Rage Quitter's army back. He's going to be able to take out this expansion pretty easily, and Rage Quitter is going to fall back. Uh, so, good move for Smutna right there. Forcing the cancel on this expansion. So now he is on uh, three bases to one mining base for Rage. Uh, but Rage does still have this giant ball out here. Able to get a couple shots off on Smutna. And that immortal is able to get a couple shots off. Smutna kind of going all in here, just trying to pull this army back for as long as possible, able to macro up. And this decoy army is just going to run by the main base and then run away. Turns around and goes to the gate to the best of me. It does lose one ultra right there. Uh, what's this? I guess that was some Zerglings in here that didn't really do any damage. So Rage right now, he is completely mined out at his main, but he does have quite a few minerals saved up. And he does have the army size advantage by like 40, so. Really, all he needs to do right now is win this game. Oh, this ultra is very terrible, terrible. Maybe that was a rally point or what, but that got taken out immediately. So, pretty small force for Smutna. Rage Quitter can smell victory. He is going to push. Once again, we're seeing a ton of spine crawlers coming in for Smutna, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Uh, looks like Rage. He's going to send a couple zealots in this way to snipe this hatchery. Smutna once again going for the flank with a counterattack. And Rage Quitter is going to come in here and take out this hatchery very easily. And once again tries to pull back. And Smutna did force another cancel on that third base. So he's coming into the second base. This natural base. So he's quite a bit of damage, making all the pros come off the line. And Rage is, he has almost no mineral here at his natural. He is completely mined out at his main. Uh, what he really needs to do is either get up an expansion and defend it, or really what would be best is to just go all in and just kill Smutna, because Smutna still, he's still down by 30 in army size. So able to come back up by 10 during that last little bit, but 
Let's see what Rage decides to do here. Checking for an expansion over here. There's one unfortunate overlord, and that noise he just made was awful. I hated that noise. Anyways, Smana is going for another counter. No, he saw this giant protoss ball with that tower. So, Rage Quitter trying to get up this expansion once again. Looks like he might just sit here and defend it this time. These probes, I, like doing a relay race back and forth between these two mineral patches. That Zerglin stood no chance. So, quite a few Ultras out for Smutna. Got nine Ultras out, three more Ultras on the way. He's not out of this. Uh, he is on... Actually, he is completely mined out at... Okay, he has 185 miles left. So he is trying to re-secure a third expansion for himself, and he is pretty low on money, uh, while Rage Quitter does have some saved up. So, kind of at a standstill right now. Rage Quitter is trying to get up uh, two mining expansions. It was long distance mining for a little bit from this gold, uh, but he's about to be short distance mining. <laughs> Regular distance mining? Just mining? Uh, looks like this next is finally about to come up for Rage Quitter. And he's doing the same long distance mining for a second. Uh, both players kind of just waiting right now. Army size is getting pretty close. It is only a 15 uh, supply dis difference. I think Rage Quitter did make a mistake by not just pressing in and taking out Smutna when he had the chance. Um, Smutna kept going for those counters, and Rage Quitter did pull back every time. So that has enabled uh, Smutna to go from a 40 supply de a deficit to now it's only 14. Uh, but this ball right here is really scary. Let's see how the upgrades are coming. 1-0, soon to be 1-1 one, one for uh, Rage Quitter. Kind of slow on the upgrades, actually. It does spot the pile. Uh, while these Ultralists are 3 with the defense, and Zerglings are 1. So that kindness played given to. So, both players kind of playing chicken with their armies, not actually wanting to engage. Uh, Rage Quitter now up to 185 supply, which is pretty high. And some Hydralis coming out for some, some kind of a late game change there. The Hydralis uh, do, you know, very good damage, especially if they can do quite a number on Stalkers. They don't have that much life, and they do go down pretty quick to Colossus, but there's only one Colossus up here, so, you know, we'll see if he can get him in a good position. And this video is probably pretty boring at the moment, because, uh, you know, nothing's happening, but can't do anything about that, looks like. Smart Knight is maxed, and Rage Quitter's not maxed yet, so... He did lose his supply advantage. Let's see if he's ever... Oh, wait. Did I read that backwards? Nope. Now they're both... Okay. Looks like you're on a sack and Overlord. It does find out where I'm in. Ooh, that Overlord popped real nice. I did see a... Uh, whatchamacallit coming down somewhere. Anyways, one thing that Rage Quitter could do better is... Aha! So I saw the Templar Archives coming down. Looks like he just wants to get a couple of Archons in there. And it looks like both armies are going around each other. Rage Quitter is going to take out this expansion really quick while Smut is going for this stuff. And it looks like we're kind of going to have a base trade, base trade scenario here. A couple Infestors out there are going to die. Smutna the going with these rocks, gonna come up here into Rage Quitter's expansion. And it looks like Rage is retreating. And oh these ultra are doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, I'm forced to retreat right here. Actually I don't know if there's any buildings even. 
So looks like you can snipe one or two focus here as they retreat. And open them. I'm going to turn around and engage. They're not in the best position. They are able to get around him. There's a ton of immortals here. He has so much damage to the focus. Focus falling really fast. Like Rage Widow is going to come out way ahead in this event. More Archons coming in up here. Next is going to go down, but it's such a supply difference. Right now, Rage Widow up on 60 supply. I don't think it's going to matter. So a couple of Turtles trying to do a run by here. And looks like Rage Widow is going to be bombed into the mining. Although these Erglings could take out one, two, or three of these Immortals. One of these Immortals going down looks like they're by the Now Rage Quitter has a huge advantage. All he needs to do is push in for the win. A couple Ultras up here. Looks like they're going to try that counterattack thing again, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Rage Quitter running around with that Observer, killing some Creep Tumors. So, another counter by Sunna. And he's killing quite a few girls. He's just about to lose all the damage. And the Immortals. 11 Immortals. That is so many Immortals. And, once again, Sunna has just been going for the counter. As soon as he sees that Protoss coming back, he just runs away. As soon as they go away, he's gonna run in. Do a little more damage. Looks like Rage may have finally said, alright, enough with this. We're gonna go in and we're gonna kill up some And this army is pretty big. He's gonna be able to just roll down here. What did he built a Nexus over here? That is strange. Oh, I guess maybe trying to hide a Nexus in case, uh, in case Smutna takes out the one in the base, he won't be revealed. And there goes that hatchery. And Smutna now pushing up in towards the main. Smutna has 41 kills. Quitter does have quite a few excess minerals, so he's just kind of hiding nexuses around the map. Just in case somehow these three uh, ultras were able to out the base race. And, oh, why is he pulling back? He's pulling back. I guess he did take out all the techs, so now he's going to come back and do it. And then that will pretty much be the game. He hasn't killed this hatchery, so, uh, you know, we could see Smut, uh, get a really, a lot of drones and attack. Uh, really, this game is over. So, Smut, uh, just trying to do as much as he can with this last Ultralisk. He is, uh, taking this Protoss army on quite a journey. Maybe this Hero Colossus is going to come in here and do some damage. Really what Rage Quitter should do is split up his forces. Down goes the last Ultra, down go the last Zerglings. Spawning pool on the way, but it's not enough. That was a long, long game. Uh, but uh, Rage Quitter does take the series 3-1. to one, And that is the end for this series.